we're going to talk about horizontal and vertical analysis. Horizontal analysis looks at trends over time. And typically you pick a base year. So for instance for Target we could pick 2010 as the base year. And then we express the later years as a percentage of the base. So let's calculate the horizontal analysis for Target for these four accounts. So what we did is we took 2011 and subtracted 2010 and took that difference over the base year, 2010. And then for 2012 we did the same thing. We took 2012, subtracted it from 2010, and then divided it by the base year, 2010. And so we did that for each of the four items. Let's interpret what we got. It looks like sales over the two-year period is up almost 10%, but cost of goods sold is down almost 10%. That's terrific. Sales are up and cost of the product is down. Inventory is down, so inventory didn't balloon when sales went up. And accounts payable is down, so that bills didn't accumulate. So the cash flow must be fine. That really looks terrific over time for Target, at least for these particular accounts. Vertical analysis looks at the elements in the financial statement as a percentage of sales or as a percentage of assets. So if it's in the income statement, we do it as a percentage of sales. On the balance sheet, we do it as a percentage of assets. So here, each one of these items has Th that item in the numerator and sales as the denominator. So the 70% there came from cost of goods sold over sales. And so gross margin was the gross margin over sales, credit card revenues was credit card revenues over sales, and so forth. All of these numbers here were the numerator and sales with the denominator, and that gave us these percents. And so you can get a feel for what percentage these items are of sales, and you can compare them to other companies whose sales levels may be dramatically different. But percent of sales you could compare to see if they spend more, relatively more, on product or administration or whatever. Here is the balance sheet. Here are the items taken as a percentage of assets. And liabilities and equity also would be as a percentage of assets. And you can see how we did the first one here. So horizontal analysis is a way to look over many years over time. Vertical analysis is called, sometimes called common sizing or common size, where you take all the elements and you make them percents so that you can now compare them easily across other firms that have dramatically different dollar amounts or even different currencies. So here's Merck and Novartis. Novartis and if I just look at the dollars, it would be hard to figure out were they comparable or not. Same thing here. I mean, dollar-wise, you can see this is bigger, but as a percentage of sales, are they keeping as many pennies of sales as their competitor? But if we common size them here by taking gross profit as a percentage of sales or net income as a percentage of sales, it makes it easier to see that Novartis is a little bit stronger uh, in terms of gross profit and a lot stronger in terms of net income as a percentage of sales. You can also use vertical analysis to get something as a percentage of assets. So for instance here is debt as a percentage of assets. It's hard to sort of eyeball the dollar amount but if you express it as percents using your vertical analysis it's a little easier to see that Merck has more debt as a percentage of assets than Novartis.